know what? I forgot to get water. I'll have to do it at White Run. Or Riverwood. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Let's go talk to the jester. We need to hurry. Great view from here. What seems to be the problem, sir? Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But... Ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Is there some way that I can help you? Oh! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Ah, convince Lorius to fix my wheel! Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin! Gleamy, shiny coin! Hmm. The farmer is at his farm. Where else would he be? Laurius is his name. Talk to him. Convince him to help poor Cicero. All right. See what we can do, I guess. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? The little man really needs your help with, uh, his wagon. Anything you can do about that? That Cicero feller? Huh, <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? So, what exactly is the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma? Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. All right, I guess that's a good point. Um... What can I do to help? Well, there is something. There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. That will at least get rid of him for me. What do you say? Well... I mean, I don't want to condemn the man. I don't even know him. <laughs> Fine, suit yourself. But you're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what it is. But he's damn well guilty of something. You need something? Talk to my husband. Vantus Lorius. Or just Lorius, well. if it's all the same to you. <sighs> yes. You know what? Lorius, if we just give him the tools, then he'll leave. And I don't actually Let know that he's... Let me give you a taste of my life. Guilty you need of something? anything. Talk to my husband. I thought we talked enough. Lorius. Unless or you've reconsidered my offer, that you. Cicero needs sorting. 
You know you should help him. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away, what kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. I mean, he is kind of a suspicious of character, kind, but... You I'm... If you do help him, then... I'd rather be, be sitting at a royal hair. council meeting. But they killed my king. And for what it's worth, I can go help him with the tools. And if he tries anything funny, then my associates and I will finish him off. I mean... Poor mother! Her new home seems so very far! All right, Cicero, uh, I talked him into helping you. Oh, poor mother! You, you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny clink gold a few coins for your kind deed and thank you thank you again <laughs> we need to hurry okay so i don't remember does this guy actually make his way out here to help the man Um, you know what, let's wait for a minute, or an hour. The horse, nope, they're still here. Uh, I will wait for Lorius. oh yes, Mother and I will wait right here, right here until he fixes our wheel. Alright. Great view from here. Hmm. Let's see. <coughs> uh, right here, I guess, looks good. Yes, Sarah? Let's oh, go I ahead and set up camp that. here. Sleep until the early hours of the morning. Yes. And what might you need? Hmm? All right, I'll have you guys relax. Yes. I'm gonna sleep until the morning. And we'll see how things are. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go nine hours. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. Wait for Lorius. Oh yes, he still Mother hasn't and I been will out wait yet? right here, right here until he fixes our wheel. And is this guy gonna make his way out here to uh seven thirty in the morning? Seriously? Are you gonna make your way out here, Lorius? Cicero is still out there.
doing up here she's kind of going out for a afternoon stroll I guess all right well we've already did what we needed to do with Cicero We're one of the same kind, you and I. Hmm. I guess we are. Go ahead and uh, strike the camp. Oops. Uh, let's see, where the voice, foot of the mountain. I think these might be some of the modded quests. Speak descending. No, why don't we do that one? So, I don't know if that guy ever... I don't know if this quest activates while we're still here. We probably have to actually leave the place. Alright, but first... some water there then we'll head over to Falkreath. Actually we could have just went to Falkreath. They've got water there. I can refill my water flasks. fact I think this particular quest don't we end up having to fight uh, her scene Let me do a save here before I crash and lose all this effort oh you know what I keep forgetting I keep forgetting to have my ladies tag along. <coughs> All right, there we go. Let's go talk to. Cindy. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king.
Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. All right then. And if I talk to your prisoner. Come to gawk at the monster. Change from the sewers of Novigrad. I hear you attacked a, uh, a little girl in the village here. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. And what ring is that? This is the Ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like with the little girl. And what kind of transformation are we talking about? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret. And my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. And who is Hercene? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase, and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. And... How is it, or why is why did this make you attack the girl? I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt. But this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws. Weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. All right, so what exactly will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. All right, well, I'll take the ring back to her scene. Oh, my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Now the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again... I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Hmm. What a predicament. So it just automatically equips. Kill the great beast. Causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. And you can't unequip it.
Winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. Alright. So I guess I need to uh, make As if Skyrim didn't have... You. Uh, you were talking to that murderous savage. And then he escaped. What are you hiding? Uh... That's a good question. I guess we'll all find out. Won't Everything we? all right? I think so. Everything will be uh, be all right. It's beautiful here. All right, let's go kill the beast. Oh, this is the mountain range. We're gonna have to go around it. Great view from here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Well met, Hunter. So you must be Hersin? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls Hersin. All right, and what would you ask of me? Your fealty is precious to me. I will make good use of it. You bear my ring. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. <clears throat> Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Well, he's done me no wrong, and I can't really kill him. There is no retribution in the hunt. It is not vengeance I seek, but the blood course of a living hunt. There are others who would gladly accept my favor. They will hunt him while you delay. Your choice. Okay. So, he's way over there, huh? Begin the hunt.
forgot I had to cross this large lake. Save there. The pillar of curses. Stop. Hear it? So is this on the shore? Let's try and stay on land because I don't know how far down that drop is. Let's do it this way. Okay, so it's gonna be over this way. Alright, let's try and safely make our way down. There's no safe way here. Not oh, good grief. from here coming up on it ah there it is bloated man's grotto all right mm, caves wonder what's below Stop. Probably certain death. You look great. Careful. Our footsteps will echo in every chamber and tunnel. Damn, that's quite a sight. The blood moon called you, fellow hunter. What happened here? The prey is strong, stronger than the hunters. But more will come. Bring him down. 
for the glories of Lord Hirsin. thought I'd see you again. All right. Well, I've been told to kill you by Hersene himself. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Hersene is too powerful. But you spare me. I can be a powerful ally to you. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. All right, I'll spare your life. Thank the gods. Now let's deal with these other hunters. We hunt together. Well, that wasn't part of the plan. I didn't want to kill them. Where are you at, anyway? was to simply allow you to let you live. Never thought I'd see you again. Oh, gosh. You know what? What if we just leave you guys at an impasse in this grotto? I don't kill you. I don't kill the hunters, because that was not my intention coming here. And you Stop. both can just Karen? stay here in limbo. And that'll be the end of it. Of course, the problem is... I got this stupid ring on, don't I? Causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf, which I don't want to do. This is a bloody... Is someone there? Bloody predicament. Alright, werewolf, I'll let you do your thing. Nope, let him let him do his thing, uh Tris. You're dead! Damn it! You're dead! Amateur, I guess. Is that it? Never thought I'd see you again. I guess that's not Let me it. give you a taste <laughs> of my life. <laughs> Alright, let's go find these other hunters. But we'll let uh, Cindy... Is someone there? Ooh, an Atlas moth. Interesting. Cindy will let you do your thing there. since it's I in your in blood. But I'm not going to lift a hand against these guys. It's all on you. No, you won't get the <laughs> butterfly. You're dead! Come on, guide me! Lesser Wendingo. Body creature. Alright, any more hunters? Oh. Torch bug abdomen. Never thought I'd see. Huh? Never thought I'd see. More? Alright. Let's make our way over there. There's an unnatural chill in the air. Time to end this little game. Huh? Oh. Never 
thought I'd see you again. All right, they're all dead. Now what? That's the last of the hunters. Thank you for your help. I will make my home here, away from anyone I might hurt. Never thought I'd see you again. Okay. Never thought I'd see you again. Can I take the ring off? Are you bloody kidding me? Do I well. have to kill Sinding in order to get this thing off me? Or can I talk to her scene and, uh... So I'm stuck with this stupid, stupid ring. But I don't want that. See, this is a situation where the story is not quite... There needs to be some option of getting the ring off even if you choose to befriend Cindy. 